Hi everyone and welcome to Dedicate, your 30-day yoga journey. It's day 21. Can you believe it? I say that every day. I can't believe it. You're doing amazing. I'm so excited to be on this ride with you. Today we take out our flashlights and we shine our light. Let's get started. my friends welcome today we're gonna to begin standing so come on to your mat bring your feet right underneath your hips so feet hip width apart and just stand up nice and tall <clears throat> take a deep breath in lift your chest just slightly <clears throat> and as you exhale relax your fingertips relax your shoulders arrive Today's practice is about incorporating the whole package, the total body, right? But um, not just as a workout, as a means of exploration and finding, again, that, that essence, that light that just really feels like you. So you're gonna find it in the yummy stuff and I'm going to lovingly challenge you to find it in the difficult things too. And we'll just see what happens, all right. So with feet hip width apart, knees slightly bent. We've been here before together. You didn't think we were just gonna do it once in this whole journey. Let's take the fingertips left to right for a little warm up of knocking on heaven's door. And since we've done this once before, you can kind of pick up the pace here to begin with. And the main thing to consider is just that you leave any, anything that's holding you back, any judgment, any of your inhibitions, let it go so we can shine a little light in the dark places, some of those little nooks and crannies that just don't get any love because there's a roadblock or a hiccup or a bad memory or a piece of shame or whatever it is. And then the other thing is to keep your knees bent a little bit just to protect your joints. Okay, and then the last thing is to have fun. So slap your booty if it feels good. Do quote me on that, guys. <laughs> lift the corners of your mouth if it feels good. And if you're showing up to the mat um, a little tired or low on energy, just ease in, baby, ease in. All right, <clears throat> and then noticing it if you're just isolating, uh, maybe the arms or the shoulders start to integrate. Again, a total body awareness by noticing this beautiful twist in the lower back as you swing side to side, this gentle twist in the mid back, and then start to get the cervical spine into it by integrating the neck. And then you feel like a proper fool, a fool for love and light. So we're here for three. Let's go for the gold, two, and on the one, capture it. Come back to center, feet are firmly planted on the earth, palms come together, namaste. Take a deep breath in. Long breath out, interlace the fingertips, bring them underneath the chin, keep your feet where they are. Big breath in, open the elbows wide. Uh, center stays strong and connected here as you lengthen tailbone down. And then exhale, rounding through chin to chest, bring it in. Inhale, open, ground through the heels, lift the elbows left to right. Lift, 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 you're coming out of the hips, lifting all four sides of the torso. And then exhale, chin to chest, navel draws in. Now once more, let's do it with your breath so you can just move with the sound of your breath, finding that ocean sound. And then we'll slowly release the arms, roll it up. And if you're facing this way on the mat like me, go ahead and turn to the side. And if you're already there, aren't you just one step ahead today? Okay, so from here, the feet are hip width apart. Bring the palms back together, interlace. You're gonna hold on to this um, grip for a little stability. Without looking down, you're gonna step or hop the feet as wide as your yoga mat, ready? Three, two, one. Try not to look down. 
All right, what do you know? The ground was there. Whatever happened, inhale in. Exhale, let it go as you bring the fingertips down gently. Beautiful. From here, inhale, reach for the sky. Big breath, big stretch. Take up space. Exhale, float the fingertips down. Inhale, big breath, big stretch. Take up space. Exhale, float it down. Inhale, big breath, big stretch. Palms come together up and overhead. From here, we're going to exaggerate. Turn the left toes in. <clears throat> Turn the right toes out. Inhale in again. Reach, reach, reach. Exhale, warrior two. Gaze past your right fingertips. Inhale, straighten the legs. Lift up from the pelvic floor. Palms kiss together. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, bend your front knee. Inhale, reach, strong legs. Exhale, warrior two. Now in this repetition, go on a hunt. Take your flashlight, pay attention. What's going on with my hips? What's going on with my forehead or my face? Besides that it's beautiful, what else is going on? What's going on with my shoulders? My energy, my breath. And the next time you inhale, bring the palms together all the way up. Turn the right toes in, turn the left toes out. Inhale in, exhale, warrior two. Keep exploring. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, warrior two. Arms are gonna get tired here. Please try to stick with it. See what happens, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. The next time you exhale the warrior two, try to really press into the knife edge of that back foot. Toning the upper arms, toning the upper arms. You're doing great, stick with it. The next time you reach for the sky, palms face up. You'll turn the left toes in, so now both toes are turned in. Inhale in, exhale, hands to heart. Oh yes. Interlace the fingertips, draw them underneath the chin. Inhale, lift the elbows left to right. Long puppy belly here. Scratching the belly, and then exhale, bow, chin to chest. It should feel good. Beautiful, feel that awesome stretch in the back of the neck. If you like, breathe, lots of love in here, lots of love out. If you like, say a little prayer, something positive, set a little intention, something that will serve you in the present moment. Sweet, and then release the arms. I'm gonna take a step back on my mat. You might want to as well, depending on your space. Nice wide legs, inner thighs engaged, drawing energy up from the arches of the feet. Inhale, loop the shoulders forward, up and back, just to relax any stress or tension. Then we'll inhale in, exhale, nice and slow, soft bend in the knees, you're gonna take your heart forward. Arms can be soft and easy here. We're gonna slowly walk the fingertips to the earth and then maybe begin to walk them out. If that's not available to you, you'll take your blanket or your block or your books or your couch cushion, something to lift the earth up to you and you can work here. So obviously a generous opening in the backs of the legs. Reminder that the toes are turned in slightly. And in time you might find the palms can come to the earth and we create a little standing wide-legged forward fold with the arms outstretched in front. So find a version that suits you here. Take a deep breath in, lean in, exhale, breathe out. Awesome. Root to rise, ground through slowly. Roll it up, staying connected to your center, not dumping any weight in that low back. Be mindful. Inhale, as you stand up, loop the shoulders forward, up and back, and as you exhale, let go of any stress, any tension, any cobwebs that might have collected. We're here to lovingly clear them out. And it's not gonna happen in one day, right? That's why this journey is so insane, <laughs> so incredible, such a, Wonderful way to reboot, reconnect, revisit what feels like you. All right, let's go again. Inhale, loop the shoulders forward, up and back. Exhale, relax. So we want our energetic state to be calm as we go into this exploration. Soft bend in the knees, take it forward. 
the struggle is real. So if you're struggling here, breathe, lean in and see how you can adapt. Don't worry about copying me or comparing or trying to keep up. Instead, focus on your light, what feels good, how you can create support for your body and deepen your breath. So therapeutic, but you gotta bring the breath. And then this time, ground through all four corners of the feet, strong legs, strong center. You're gonna slowly bring the left fingertips to the earth and we're gonna take our open twist for today's practice here by inhaling, reaching right fingertips to the sky, breathing into the belly, drawing the shoulders away from the ears. And then wiggle the right fingertips, inhale, exhale, sweep through, right hand replaces the left and we take it to the other side. Big open twist to your left. Breathe deep, draw the shoulders away from the ears, neck is nice and long. Wiggle the left fingertips, take a deep breath in. Yes, and then exhale to release. Great, tuck the chin, soft bend in the knees, slowly roll back up, connecting to your core all the way long. Inhale, reach for the sky, kiss or clap the palms together, and then bring your hands back to your heart. Awesome. Interlace the fingertips, bring them underneath the chin. Inhale, lift the elbows left to right, take a deep breath. Exhale, chin to chest. All right, here we go. Inhale in, exhale, release the fingers, relax the shoulders down your back body. So keep this action of wrapping the shoulders around, feeling your, your shoulder blades, your scaps melting down your back body. Keep that as once again, we slowly come forward, preparing for a little journey. Okay, fingertips come to the earth to start. Inhale in, I'm gonna turn the left toes out. Exhale, I'm gonna bend my left knee generously, bring my center right underneath me, right toes to the sky. I sit back, way back, fingertips reach forward. Just check it out, skandasana. All right, now if you can't get your center down or underneath you, an option is to stay a little bit high and do like a one-legged froggy. So this heel, left heel is lifted, right toes are still up. You can find that space between the toes here, working, breathing, 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 or we're here. And then everyone, use your breath to guide you. We're creating a 100% full body experience. So integrate everything as you inhale in, exhale, you're gonna connect to your core. Lift, I just realized that in my explanation I'd come onto my bum. So, you're gonna lift your bum if it's not lifted and we're gonna slowly come through, come through a nice squat and you're gonna go right to the other side by turning your right toes out, lifting your left toes towards the sky and then just seeing what it's like on this side. Fingertips reaching forward. Maybe you come to a one-legged froggy, lift it up a little bit high. We're breathing deep. Beautiful, here we go again, lifting up from the pelvic floor. You can use your hands here if you don't need them, then you can uh, light a fire in your core by bringing the palms together at the heart. If you are able to, we'll try that steeple grip, reaching forward here, lifting the chest. Otherwise, keep nice and low, guys. Honor where you are today, right? Breathing deep, inhale. Notice how you're reacting to this, and let's pay attention as we come all the way through and take it to the uh, right, our last side here. Breathing deep, skandasana. So this is not to torture you, just uh, leading you to meet an edge. Breathe deep, you're doing awesome. Take one more breath wherever you are. And then exhale, slowly come back to center. We'll come back to that standing wide-legged forward fold. Hands will come to the earth or fingertips to the earth. And if you like, you can take the hands, drag them in line with the arches of the feet. Bring the crown of the head to the earth. In time, you can take it up into an inversion, but only when it's right in your body and you have the proper foundation. There is a great video, oops, uh, yoga with Adrian video for headstand, but be mindful. Wherever you are, trust that that's exactly where you're supposed to be, and I mean that. Take a deep breath in and a long breath out. And we'll walk the hands out, slowly begin to come back up. And you're just going to walk the feet um, right underneath your hips and bend your knees so that we all come down into 
a little malasana variation, a little yogic squat. And if the soles of the feet don't come to the earth, again, enjoy that froggy posture of keeping the heels lifted, just staying a little bit higher up. And pay attention to your heart space here. Find your breath again by softening your gaze or closing your eyes. Take a deep breath in. Relax your shoulders down as you breathe out. Then swim the fingertips around. Come to a seat. We'll send the fingertips behind us. Soles of the feet come on the mat and we're gonna walk them as wide as the mat. And this should feel awesome. Let's find some internal rotation after, after all that external rotation. So move nice and slow. Send your knees over towards the left. Oh yeah. Take a deep breath in. Lift your heart. For a little more, you can cross the left ankle over the right and maybe come on to your elbows. But again, um, listen to your body. Pay attention. Keep the feet bright, let's transition. Slowly coming through center, taking the knees now, windshield wipering them to the right. And this is perhaps enough, but if you just gotta have more, you wanna shine a little light in the dark places, take your right ankle, cross it over the top of the left thigh, and maybe we'll come down onto the forearms. Breathe, keep the feet awake. Lift your heart. Alrighty, stay nice and active in the toes as you slowly bring it back to center. You're gonna walk the heels just in line with your hips. You're gonna sit up nice and tall like this. Feel that connection of your root chakra to the earth. Rise up through the spine, creating a nice, beautiful highway for your energy to cruise on. And then um, now it's time for one of my all-time favorite advanced yoga postures. This is a perfect, beautiful asana for connecting to your own inner unique light. And it looks like this. Sit up nice and tall. Allow your hands to rest gently on your knees. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Bow. Not playing, dudes. This is awesome. Peek at me if you need to and then create your own surrender. Benji's doing his version of this. I'm doing my version of this, and you're going to do your version of this. And we're going to soften the skin of the face. Breathe like you love yourself. Just get quiet. When we show up regularly to participate, with our body and our breath. We ultimately are creating a beautiful dance between all parts of ourself where we can find balance and find truth and just this sense that we are being ourselves, authentic. And when I'm in that energetic state, I feel like I can conquer anything. I can change the world, be the change. So we can't always be in this light, but knowing that it exists and knowing how to nurture it is certainly a way to move. Okay. Big stretch in the back of the neck here. If none of that resonates for you, at least you're getting an awesome stretch in the back of the neck. Tuck the chin, open your eyes, roll it up. A whole new world, a new fantastic point of view. Come to a nice, comfortable seat of your choice. Perspective. I thought about calling this perspective, but I think light. And we honor the darkness too. But knowing that this light moving in a way that feels good exists is, again, certainly a helpful tool for the dark days. Am I right? Love you guys. Bring the palms together. 
I wish you well. Amazing, amazing work. That's all I can say. Thanks for showing up. I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste.